हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स सी टुडे प्रॉब्लम दिस इज आवर सेकंड प्रॉब्लम इन द लिस्ट ऑफ ब्लाइंड 75 अर्लियर वी सॉल्व टू सम प्रॉब्लम नाउ वी आर लुकिंग फॉर लॉन्गेस्ट सबस्ट्रिंग विदाउट रिपीटिंग कैरेक्टर्स ओके सो इट्स गिवन दैट वी आर गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग एस एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द लॉन्गेस्ट सबस्ट्रिंग विदाउट रिपीटिंग कैरेक्टर्स मींस वी शुड have that all the characters in our substring should be unique there should be no repetition and what will be the longest such kind of a string we need to return that length okay so here they are given a b c a b c and b b so here the longest possible substring could be a b c so we'll return a b c here all are b b b so only one is possible that is b character so we return b similarly in this example so let's see how we are going to implement this so the string given to us is abc abc and bb and we need to find out the longest substring which don't have a repeating characters so all the characters in that substring should be unique so the first way which we can solve this problem is to generate all the substring so what we can do we will generate all the substring so we will use two for loop for i in range equal to our length of the string if we are assuming that the length of the string is n then again we will do one more for loop for j in range i plus 1 till n so we are going to generate all the possible substring and in that substring which we are considering so here our substring will be s i colon j plus 1 so in this particular substring which we are generating we will check whether all the characters are unique or not if they are unique we keep updating our length variable and our result variable to this particular substring if all the character are unique and if it happens to be greater than all the previous substring so we will update these two values and at last we are going to return our result so uh, how we are going to check whether all the characters are unique or not we will just create a hash map because there will be maximum 26 characters in alphabet so size of the hash map will be 26 or we can say it will be constant because 26 is o1 size only and we'll just keep putting all the character that is present in our this particular substring in this hash map if it come and if any time the situation comes that any character is already present in that sub uh, in that hash map so we know this is a repeated character so we, at that time we will just break out of this loop and we will continue our this loop so this is simple approach brute force so what will be the time complexity of this uh, particular approach because we are using two for loop so it will be o in a square any of generating all the substring cost us o in a square so it will cost us o in a square and what will be the space complexity it will be o1 because we are just needed this 26 character of a hash map so it's constant so can we come up with a approach which is better than o in a square so let's see how we can do this so our string that was given to us was a b c a b c and b b this is our s and we have to find out the longest substring that has unique characters that doesn't have a repeated character so the first approach we just saw what we did we generated all the possible substring and for each substring we checked whether 
there is a repeated character by the use of this hash map we keep on checking if that substring is not having a repeated character that we just increased our ln result variable and at last after completing these two for loops whatever the value is stored in this variables we return to our calling function so this took our o in square time so let's see how we can increase means decrease our time complexity so firstly we need to find a sub uh, firstly we'll uh, start with empty string okay then we'll try to increase our this sub string then we try to increase our this sub string size by adding some characters from this given string so we will try to add a and when we add a characters in our sub string we will just keep a hash map and check whether this character is already present in my hash map or not so a is coming so a is not present in our hash map so we can include a because it's a new character so we added a, a to our sub string and added a to hash map also again b is coming so we will add b and add b to hash map again c is coming so we will add c here again add c here now what happens a is coming so a we already have a a here so if we are going to add a in this sub string then our condition will be violated that all the characters should be unique so we need to remove this a to consider this a because see we have calculated all the sub string that possible with this index this was the first sub string we calculated this was the second sub string we calculated so this sub string starting with a can go up to this point after this point this sub string can't extend because if we are extending this sub string beyond this point then the repetition of character will come this two a will be same so we can't expand this particular sub string beyond this point according to our condition so we need to take in consideration this for taking in consideration this we have to remove this a from our list so what we will do so we will just drop this a from our sub string now we will add a here okay so everything is good all these things are unique now b is coming so again we'll check b is already present so we can't add b so we need to remove b here so what we do we do we because see this now we are starting with this so if we are starting with this character so what will be the sub string that will have a unique character let me take another one so b and c everything is fine because nothing is getting repeated now we have b c a so here also all the things are fine because b c a all the characters are unique now when we try to add b so here the problem arise because b and b both are similar so we can't take this sub string because we need the condition that all the characters in our sub string should be unique so we need to remove this sub string because we have already generated what the maximum we can generate with this particular b character so now this b will be gone so now our string will be c a b okay so now again we will move forward now again c is coming so c already we have so now we have generated this c a and this c a b so no problem was there we generated this sub string now again if we try to add c so same problem in arise this c and c are getting repeated so we need to remove this c so we'll just remove this c 
and now we have a b and c okay so now we have this see a b and c so this tree a b c okay now again b is coming so b is already present so we can't add b so we need to remove a and b because a is earlier than b here if we see this was a b then a b c then now we are trying to add b so these two prob these are creating the problem so we need to remove this b so we will remove a and b so now our character will be c now we will add b here everything is fine because c b are unique now again b comes in so b and b again clashing so we need to remove b so we need to remove c then we only remove b so now we're left with one character so what we need we need one two pointer one is like our left boundary other will be right boundary this left and right boundary this pointer will help us in marking the start and end point of a substring for c for this first substring our starting point of this substring started with 0 then we extend it to b so our r becomes 1 then next time again uh, we started with 0 our substring starting point was 0 but our end point extended till c now in the next situation with collision happens our start point shifted to index 1 so we need to mark the end and start of our string so let's see here so the string that was given to us was a b c c d e and b b now every substring will have a start point and an end point because substring is what we are taking in consideration the consecutive part of a string so this is a substring this is a substring this is a substring so this is a start and an end point so we need to mark our start and end point so let's See, so we will just take two pointer that will help us to keep the track of start and end point so that will be left end and right end okay so initially these two will be zero because our string is empty zero or minus one let's say because our string is empty there is nothing and we will create our hash map here okay so now a is coming so we'll check whether a is there no a is not there so we will add a here and there uh, there we are keeping track of the length and our result okay initially length is zero result is empty okay now b is coming so our r shifted to b l is at zero okay so r is b so is b there in our hash map no so we added b here and these two values keep updating okay as we find any length that is bigger than the previous so we'll keep so now our length initially becomes one and this become a now it's become two and this become a b because we are taking in consideration our substring is a b now again c is coming now our r will point to c whether c is there no c is not there so we'll add c here now the length of substring is my l is at 0 and r is at index 2 let me index this so this it will be easy to visualize 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so now our l is pointing to here and r is at c so 0 and 2 so length of the substring is now we are considering this tree and what is the substring it's a b and c so this tree is greater than this length so we'll update this tree and this will be updated to a b c 
okay so now we will again we will try to increase our r so it will point to this tree so we will check whether a is or a is already there so we can't take in consideration the string starting from zero index till third index because this is similar because these first character and this character they are similar so we need to drop a so we'll drop this a from our substring and we will add this a to our substring okay so now because we drop this a now our l what our l become now our l will be L will become one and R will be three. So what our substring look like? B C A. This is the substring. Okay. So now we will check whether this uh, length, because this length is three. So whether this is smaller than this? No. And this is also. So we will not update this dash, but this A will because now our substring is this A. This A will get added. Now again, what we will do? So again, we will. Again, we will. Here we will see. So again, we will try to increase our. Let's see. Let's check this one. Okay. So again, we will try to increase our R. So now our R will point to B. So we'll check whether B is there. B is already there. So I can't include B. So I need to remove this B. So again, I need to shift my left pointer. So my left will now become two, okay. And this B will be gone from here. Now I will add this B, and R will be four. Now again, my length is three. I will check whether three is greater than this. No, so I will not update my rest variable. It will still be a b c. Now again, I will try to include this c. So we'll check whether c is already there. Yes, c is already there. So I need to remove this c. So okay, I will remove this c from my hash table. Now again, this r. Is making to include so again we need because this R pointer so again we need to include my C so I will write C here and my left pointer will move to three and R pointer will be five now again my length of the string is three so I don't need to update anything I will not update again I will check so again I will try to increase my R so R is B so B is again I check in my hash map is B is present yes B is present So again, class is there. I need to remove item. So okay. So I will try to increase my left. My left is at here. So I will increase my left. I will increase my left from here. So I will drop this a. So I will drop this a. So whether this a help me to achieve the condition that b? No. Again, b because my r is pointing to b and b is already present. So I need to remove some more character. So again, my help will point to B. So again, I will remove this character. Now my condition is okay. Now you know, there is no B in my hash map. So I will add B in my hash map. Okay. Uh, so let me just make this B. So B is there. So now my left pointer is here, and R pointer is here. So now left. Is at five. R is at six. So what is the length? Length is two. So this is smaller. So nothing to update. This is my final thing. Again, I will try to increase my right pointer. So it will go to seven. So again, B is there. I can't include. So I need to remove. So I will update my left pointer. So it will kick out this C from here. So again, I will check whether I can put B. No, B is still there. So I need to remove this B also. Again, my left will be pointing to seven. So only B will be here. Now my left and right both are pointing to seven. So this time the length of this string is 
one so it's a small nothing to do so my final answer is abc so in this way we are going to implement this method so the time complexity because here we are just iterating through our string only once in one traversal we are finding so our time complexity is o n and we are storing this hash map so it will be o one itself because mostly the character that can come inside this hash map will be 26 because we have a to z so that is 26 so at most it can extend up to 26 characters so here you can use set also list also but i am using hash map because lookup in hash map is very fast in o1 time so if i am looking for a variable in hash map so i can get it immediately but uh, in list or uh, set also we can use set also here so you can use set or hash map so lookup will be very fast so we will implement this I'm not going to implement the brute force approach because that is very intuitive. You have to just go through two for loops and generate the substring, and then for that substring, check whether all the characters are unique or not. If not unique, we will drop that substring, then continue our loop, and we keep counting the length of longest substring which are valid and we have found so far, and at last we will return that particular substring. So this approach is very uh, normal. So we are going to implement the optimized way. So the optimized way we talked, we are going to have one either set or hash map that can keep track of the elements which we have visited in this substring so that if any character come and that character has been like we have already visited that character in our substring means that these two are classing, these two are same. So we can't have a similar character. So now we have to decrease the length of our substring by moving the L pointer. So we are going to implement that approach. So we need a set or hash map, anything. I'm going to use set. So let's see be the name of our set. Okay, and we need two markers for our substring so we are using lnr and both are pointing to zero and this is our resulting substring so earlier it is empty now we are going to iterate through our string while r is smaller than n okay so let's initialize n n is equal to length of our given a string so here we are doing one thing when our string is not valid means if the found something character some characters are repeating in that particular substring so we uh, start increasing the left pointer so that we can eliminate that character which is causing the repeat repetition kind of problem so uh, let's just see one example. If we have A, A, B, B, okay, so A, B, C, A, this kind of thing. And let's suppose our L is pointing to 0 and R is on 0, 1, 2, 3. So 3. So now here we are seeing that this third character, if we have already created our set, so in our set, Okay, sorry for this. Okay. So in our set, our scene, we have already entered A, B, and C. Now if R is pointing to A, so we'll check whether this A is already present. So it's we have already seen A. So we can't consider this particular substring altogether. So we need to chop something. So we can chop from the left hand side because for this this character for this index we have calculated the maximum maximum we can approach to our substring maximum length substring which we can generate. So we'll chop this character if it's not starting. Maybe our A will be somewhere in between or middle somewhere. So we need to chop until we find our repeated character. So now we will just remove this A from here. 
and again we will add so it's similar thing if you remove or not so now this will be particular our scene character so we have to take care of these two condition okay so let me remove this condition okay so just write not valid not valid substring then we have to shift our we need to shift our left pointer okay so let's implement this if s r n scene then we need to remove so scene dot replace or remove remove our this particular sl character uh, and now we need to shift our left pointer also because now our left point is shifted to one point okay otherwise our else condition will come so if this particular character is not seen means everything is unique so we can move forward so in, firstly we need to add this character to our scene variable so a scene set scene dot add sr and r plus is equal to 1 and we need to keep calculate our so we need to update our rest variable also so rest is equal to we need to uh, return the length here ok so we don't need to return the string so max of rest and what will be the length of current substring which we are considering r minus l plus 1 ok and we keep on incrementing our r and at last we are going to return our rest okay so here will i will just write this text keep increasing our r pointer till it's a valid string our substring is valid so if the valid is there we are keep incrementing our r pointer we are considering more and more character if this condition is violated means not all the characters are unique we need to remove the characters which are which are doing our character repetition so we need to remove all those characters so we keep on removing those character until our condition is not satisfied. Let's run it. Oh, sorry. Here I need to proceed. Okay. So let's run for example test cases. Okay, so it's ran correctly for the example test cases. So let's submit it also. Okay, so it's quite efficient and memory complexity is also good. So here, yeah, what was our mem memory complexity? It was O n because of this scene. Let me minimize this. Okay, so because of this scene variable, our memory complexity was O n and this whole loop take our o n complexity so running time is o n and space is also o n okay thank you